Hey guys, it's Marty. I'm going to try to walk you through a quick way that I do all of my processing and workflow for solar images currently with one shot instead of two shots to do the limb and the surface. I just grabbed some data, so let's use it. Auto Stacker 3, and I will be processing this clip. You can already see the surface, you can see some faint prominences all in one shot. This is with zero gamma applied. Here's the settings I'm going to use. Surface, improved tracking, crop, Laplace for quality estimation at a noise robust of six. This is a thousand frames, so let's analyze it. Should only take a minute. All right, the first part is done. Surface image stabilization, that took about a minute and a half. Um, and that was on a four gigahertz, eight core processor. So this is the most of my time. Buffering and image analysis, little 14 seconds. If we look at the quality graph, most of the frames are above the 50% line. You can see the scene went up and down, up and down, up and down. This represents a thousand frames and I can see that I have a good portion of frames in each 25% column here. So what I'm going to target is a group of 61 frames, 101 frames, 181 frames, and 251 frames. Um, the 251 represents 25% total of my 1000. So this will give me a good spread to see if this quality graph is any indicator that I have approximately. 200 or less very good frames to work with. Um, to do the alignment points at this image scale, I am probably going to err on the lower side around 40 here. That'll be my size and I'll just do an auto placement and I use a very minimum brightness because I want it to grab everything even off in here that I cannot see but it can see it fine. Any places that get missed, I'll just throw in some alignment points to finish it off. That's it, we're gonna stack.
All right, all four are finished. That didn't take too long because I only stack a few frames and it was only a thousand to reference from. So I'm done with auto stacker. I'm gonna close that and I'm gonna load up I am PPG. All right, let's grab our image. I'm gonna start with the one that was 181 frames just to look at it. And what I'm going to do here, pardon moving around on the screen, is I want to see essentially just this patch here and I'm going to stretch it so that I can see everything here and I like what I'm seeing right now um, the default settings for deconvolution and unsharp mask I can kinda soften this up a little bit I don't want it to be too sharp so over sharpened very blurry the last thing I want to do is have it look like a finished sharpened image at this stage. So I just take a look at the different values. You can see as deconvolution goes up it becomes a mess. Um, I just back off until it's soft but it has clear definition on things like spicules or brightness between a plage and a bundle of fibrils. And uh, I like that. It's, it's soft, but you can still see the detail without it being over sharpened. Now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to back off. This area here was from my flat frame, so I'm going to clip it out later. I'm only going to focus on this area right here where I can see the disk and the prominences. So I'm going to reset my histogram and levels, and I'm going to stretch it again. This time though, notice it's very dark out here I want to bring this back up this area of the histogram is where the shadows are so I'm gonna grab it and lift it gently and you can suddenly see the prominence is very easy but I don't want to explode them too much so I'm gonna stop it right around here I think that's a good balance of a dark background but I can see the prominences well enough even right now so that I can work with them later and I'm gonna stop there that's it now I'm just going to hit process this entire frame. It's done and I'm going to save it. We're going to, oh, let's just make a directory IMPPG. We'll call this the 100 millimeter F10 HA proms surface 181 frames or whatever it was and today's date 16th alright I am done with this I'm gonna close it next we're gonna jump into Photoshop alright let's grab our image and I'm going to edit the one that I output from IMPPG. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the mode to RGB because it was a grayscaled monochrome image. I want to go RGB. And I want to go ahead and crop it because a lot of this can't be used. So I'm going to go probably about here. And let's, I like that. I'm going to toss the rest. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I want to. I want to get rid of some of the glow around these prominences, but I want to bring the prominences out. So I'm going to use different stages of dodge and burn. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so I can see them. And I'm going to go to the dodge tool. I'm going to set it to mintones. I like 3% to start. And I want a small enough tool to where I can see what I'm doing without going too far into the background. All right, and I'm literally just clicking and dragging around just to brighten up the prominences just a little bit going back and forth there's some really faint ones here I don't want to over exaggerate them too much but I want them to be seen so I'm lifting them without completely turning them to clipping data like white I don't want to do that alright I like that because I'm going to darken them afterwards next I'm going to go to the burn tool I'm going to target shadows. Let's do 3% and be a little aggressive. I'm going to make this brush a little large. 
and I'm just gonna slowly go over all the black area you can see it working already and I'm just suppressing shadow ranges even around the proms even off in the background and that's okay if you go over the prominences that's all right we already brightened them up significantly so that they could withstand this and I'm just gonna keep going around until I have a good smooth representation of the dark void of space and the prominences it doesn't have to be perfect in a little while we're going to crush the levels a little bit change the black point and that'll finish off anything we may have missed so wrapping up the last little bit all right now for this little area just because there's bright proms I will make my brush a little smaller and come in a little closer just to finish it off I don't want too much glow so it looks artificial all right next thing we're gonna do is I am going to duplicate my frame I apologize you can't see my layers let me bring it over so you can multi monitor even though I'm recording on a smaller one see if I can make this a little easier not the master of Photoshop alright what I want to do on this next frame is start my sharpening routine so on my next layer here I'm gonna do a high pass filter pick any value you like I like to start around 11 pixels and just evaluate it and I'm gonna set this to soft light and I'm gonna drop the opacity significantly let's do 40 percent and I'm going to merge those and I'm going to duplicate the layer again this time I'm going to do a high pass with one pixel you can faintly see it so that should just highlight anything that had a line or a contrast line and again I'm going to make a opacity that's low let's do 50% on that one and I'm going to merge it next I'm going to duplicate the layer again this time I'm going to do levels um, so up here top right I'm grabbing the midpoint and I'm bringing it down ever so slightly notice the prominences are kind of gone and uh, the solar limb is still there almost quite I'm gonna stop right about there um, and I'm gonna bring it back so I'm gonna go to the previous layer that I did not do the levels on and I'm going to do an adjustment shadows highlights now here's where things come back and I work back and forth I'm gonna drop these highlights just a little bit I like the contrast there and next we're gonna work on the shadows I'm gonna set a radius around six or seven seven's fine and I'm just gonna increase all of it until I see my previous prominences that I suppressed with the levels I did a minute ago and I'm just gonna work back and forth until I see a good balance between them that I'm okay with. Just to show you what happens with the radius, you can see a big difference. Too low and it's very blurry, you lose contrast, but at this scale I'm liking what I'm seeing around six or seven. I can still see individual spicules and I can still see the prompts. So I'm going to stop there. I like that overall. And I am going to select all, edit, copy, merge. And I'm going to paste that and put it on the top of the layers. And I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to do levels again. I'm going to grab the midpoint again and gently bring it down one more time. Just a little bit. And I'm going to do the same process as um, previous layer. I'm going to go back and I'm going to do shadow highlights on it. And I'm going to drop highlights just a little bit. Radius back up around six. And uh, let's, all right, too much shadows down a little more. The width can bring it up a little. I like that. That's good. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to select all, edit, copy, merged, and paste it on top. And let's do one more levels. This time I'm going to increase my black point just a little bit. Four is good. That gets rid of a lot of anything I missed out here. 
I like to drag my midpoint down just a little bit more. And I'm gonna stop there. Next, I'm gonna do a contrast layer and I'm gonna increase it gently. Stop there. And I'm gonna stop everything at this point. And this has got a large gradient going on. So I'm gonna kill that gradient. I'm gonna select all, edit, copy merged, paste it. I'm gonna duplicate that layer. And now I'm going to do a noise, dust, and scratches. Very potent. Um, round 31 is fine as long as everything's obliterated. Next, I'm going to do a median filter. And I also want to do a high count. Look at that, 40 something, that's fine. Very smoothed out. Next, I'm going to do three of these and I'm gonna do an adjustment curve, preset darker. And I'm going to do this three times. What I'm doing is basically a synthetic flat frame. So this is the opposite of what I had. I'm going to set it to be difference, and now it's flat. I can adjust the opacity of this to see its strength, and I like it right about there. That looks pretty homogenous to me. I'm going to do a levels adjustment. This time you can see my midpoints in the data, because I kept raising the, the shadows and midtones. Now I'm going to drop the white point so that everything brightens as I crush it down. Stop right where the data begins to clip. Right there is fine. And that's it. I'm going to select all, edit, copy, merged. Paste it on top. I'm going to duplicate it, make another. I'm going to color it by going to my adjustment levels. I have a preset that I use. These are the values. I'm going to hit OK. And that's it. I can also do another one. And this time, if I want, let's invert it and we can do a levels adjustment just to give it a little more darkness and contrast. And I'm gonna merge those two layers, duplicate it, and let's do another coloring routine. Done. That's it. I'll move this panel out of the way just so you can see everything. All right, that's the image. Colored inverted, inverted black and white, colored natural look black and white natural look I prefer this softer look in general it will display nicer if you look up here there's a philoprom going on um, a couple nice surge prominences this again was from a 100 millimeter aperture scope decent resolution um, from here I literally just save it or add a watermark and that's it hopefully this was helpful for you guys very quick workflow product is in what you can see right here. Um, I hope it helps you with your endeavors.